Buddy, look at this sun though. Like, look at this. I don't know if you can see that, but like the sun is like orange. Like it looks beautiful out today. Oh, my voice sounds like all deep and groggily now. It was very humid outside. There's that storm going on and it didn't really hit East Texas on my side, but it still like it got kind of the overlaps of it. So we didn't really get storms and stuff, but it was like 91% humidity last night. So I, I do it, do it, my heart I reached out to this company that makes hammocks and I told them a little bit about myself and what I do and my channel, blah blah blah. And they said that they would send me this hammock and I was like, cool. That one. Okay, so this is Wise Owl Outfitters. Um, if you recognize the brand, logo, or whatever, because I actually have bought one of their hammocks before, and I actually use their towel too. And this is actually a double hammock. My other hammock is a single hammock, and it's actually, um, it's actually the hammock I planned on using initially when I was gonna use a hammock to sleep in my Jeep. And I actually kind of wish I can. I really wanted to. The reason I didn't is because of Kai. Um, he wouldn't really have a place to sit or lay down and he really likes to look out the windows. So it's really convenient now with the mattress pad. I love this hammock though. I decided to get the double hammock because I already have the single hammock, but the double one is like awesome. It's just like the regular hammock, but bigger. So like I can completely spread out in this thing and it's super comfortable. I love it. I actually wanted to sleep in this last night. Same issue though, Kai, I can't really leave him because Kai sleeps in the Jeep and uh, if I'm not in there with him he's probably gonna freak out and... but if you're looking for a good cheap hammock these hammocks I initially bought it just because they're cheap but like I've seen some of the other hammocks and they're usually really expensive I bought one for myself I've bought one for my mom and then that was all before I even asked them about this so like I was I like their product even before I uh, reached out to them so I'm not just upselling them this is my honest opinion of them. I love them. Like, their the hammocks are great. They have a variety of colors. You should go check them out. I only asked them to help me out because I love their products anyway, and so I figured it'd be a win-win. So yeah. I cannot get past how gorgeous the sky looks out here today, though. Just look at how the sky. It's like beautiful, and I love it. Okay, now I actually am getting bit by mosquitoes. Interesting turn of events last night. I woke up and I had this sitting right next to me. It had actually, I had slept on this knife all night. Ne not necessarily on it, but like all I had to do was roll over and it probably would have stabbed me. Luckily it didn't, I didn't get cut or anything. And I wasn't even wearing a shirt last night, so like it would have been bare to my skin. It wouldn't even have a layer of shirt to protect me. I rolled over and it was right there and I was like, holy cow, what is this here? Turns out, because it was in my backpack and I had tossed my backpack on the bed last night to get Kai out. And then after I let Kai out and moved my backpack, this had fallen out and it had just been sitting there, so luckily I was all good.
coffee does taste kind of off. Yeah. It's kind of cold. Coffee for the morning, but it's like cold and yeah, but this is just regular coffee and pour overs are supposed to be a little bit coarser than regular coffee, so it made it harder to brew. People have just had money and they're just buying up stuff. But like Best Buy is like an empty building. My heart, down here and go uh, fishing and stuff and we brought the kayaks from my aunt I borrowed those so we could go go out on the lake and stuff because we accidentally booked the wrong campsite to get our kayaks and stuff all the way down there would be a pain and then also we'd have to set up our fishing equipment and stuff and uh, it's already like 10 o'clock because Preston slept in so the whole thing just seems like it would be a big waste of time at this point to even bother so we're gonna actually just wait until maybe next week and try to book the right place. The place we usually book is an actual campground, not for RVs. So you're like right next to the water and uh, it's not as difficult to get down there. So, oh well. I didn't really get to practice my bushcrafting skills as much as I wanted to, but I already got like this blister and stuff. So I'm kind of like not feeling up for it, but I'm probably gonna play with it later, some other time. Plus I'm actually uh, like loving this hammock. I almost fell asleep in it earlier. It's so comfortable. Well, the whole trip kind of ended up being a complete bust. None of that was the plan, but uh, I mean, we still had fun. Got to go out, see some nature. I got to play with my hammock and my new knife. So worst case scenario, try again next week. And then if not, I'm going to be living in the Jeep sometime early December, so we'll be good. Not December, that's too long. September, that's what I meant. <laughs>